Hi all, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for joining Patty Puckett Pouring Art. If you're new, please subscribe, I would appreciate it. Today I'm gonna to be doing a Shelly Art Bloom Spin Out. And I'm using these six colors. And let me go through them real quick. I should have a picture right over here as I go through them. This right here is Aztec Liquid Gold with Primary Elements Gold. This is my consistency. Pretty cool. Beautiful, sparkly. This one, um, I can't really tell you. It's just a mixture of reds, oranges, and yellows. It's a really a deep orange. This one is primary, or this is a primary cyan, and this is from Amsterdam. It's a really dark tealish blue. This one is from Color Art. It's Primary Elements, Bells of Ireland, and Art Ranger Lemon Yellow. And I guess those are the only two in here. I just wanted to make it a little bit lighter than it was. It has it very, very sparkly. This one's super beautiful. I want to show you this one close. This was Piggy. This is a little... Piggy, Nightfall, and a Primary Elements Snapdragon. It's a combo, and it's just amazing. Sorry for the noise in the background. I'm out here on the lanai, and people are noisy on the weekend, <clears throat> especially. This is a PPO iridescent blue and golden I'm sorry, this is PBO iridescent blue green with a, a golden manganese blue hue together. So those are my six colors. Hopefully you can get a snapshot over here of the pictures that I just put up um, if you want to pause it. So I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. Hope everyone's doing good. We just had a big earthquake here last night. I wasn't asleep yet, but man, 4.7, like two miles away. Got my attention. Um, it's not the first one I've felt here or in California, but they're still scary no matter what. I don't think anything got damaged, but when it's that close at the epicenter, it feels a lot bigger. I mean, I felt the 89 earthquake in the Bay Area, and that was, what, 7.1? But I wasn't close to the epicenter. And that one was super long. This one wasn't so long. So what I'm using here now for my pillow is PPG. And that's interior satin. Is it satin? It's a PPG multi-pro eggshell. And I have about 10% GAC 800 in it, just to help with cracking. So if you have a spinner, it's really nice to have these silicone mats put on. Not only do they help it, your canvas stay on, because they they're they like gripping, but they also, you know, you can easily peel them off, so you can not have to get your spinner that dirty. I'm going to go ahead and help it out a little bit. I'm trying to put a video out once a week until I really get back into... I haven't had time. There's just so many things to do here in Hawaii that I lose track of time. Time just goes so fast, doesn't it? Anyway, while you're watching this, if you don't mind telling me where you're from, I'd just like to see where my subscribers are from, where they're watching it from. And if you happen to do any of the art that I'm showing on my YouTube channel, 
you can email me or go ahead and go on my Facebook page, Patty Puckett Pouring Art, and show me what you're doing. That would be cool. There's a lot of bubbles here, and with this technique, you really don't want to get it hot with a torch. So sometimes that helps. So I'm going to try to wait a, just wait a minute and get some of these bubbles out. Um, but the reason why you don't want a torch is you don't want to form like a skin. You don't want it to dry. You don't want to form the skin with this technique. So I'll be right back in just a minute. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to put this on pretty much in the same uh, layer it the same as what I showed you that I had it on. I'm going crazy a little bit. You never know how things are going to turn out, if this combination of colors is going to work. with it you know that's what's a good thing about fluid art it's fun um, I'm not liking I want to these a little more gold here a couple drops Oop. fill in these holes here Not that I need to, but I, I just feel like it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll go ahead and put on some music and we'll get going with this.
Okay, guys. <clears throat> I really like how this turned out. Um, different kinds of cells. I mean, this looks like a snake skin over here. And then... Okay. Right here. It just looks really cool. I love those cells. Yeah, so tell me what you think in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to tell me where you're from. Um, stay tuned for a close-up. Please like and subscribe. And um, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It just helps us out, creators. So don't forget to take, um, it will, a lot of the materials I use, I have down in my Amazon link. So if you click there, you can shop for a lot of the materials I use and then also shop for whatever you want. So if you do that, I'd appreciate it. Also, this technique, the Shelley Art Bloom technique, there's a class um, you can join. Uh, it's, I think it's $60 US and it's so worth it. There's all kinds of different methods with the Shelley Art technique and you get to join a private Facebook group and you keep up with all the different recipes and paints to use. So, um, by the way, my recipe is always down in the description. Um, as we better the recipes and as I change them, I'll always change in the description. So look for my latest video for the latest recipes. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and get you down and I'll be right back. Okay, a super quick close-up video. Very cool. So you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Aloha.